Shot one in the air. Gas is closing in. <laughs> yo, 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 what is up, Click21? Welcome back to a new video, guys. Today, we're going to be covering the latest Taylor Drift script, the Call of Duty series competitor 2.0, 32-bit script that is available now. It's from Taylor Drift team, so we know it's going to slap. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. <laughs> Alright guys, before we jump into the video, and I'm just going to cover a couple things real quick. We do have a Patreon. If you are interested, if you want that one-on-one -on -one access, if you need that help, if you just want to support us, or if you want access to any of the Demon Time, Kill Shot scripts, or the Rebirth Rampage, all the latest stuff is up on the Patreon. Even some of the loadouts that I may use and stuff like that, certain values and spreadsheets, all that good stuff. And if you want to support us, guys, like I said, just make sure you guys join up on the Patreon. Make sure you guys check it out. The link will be in the description below. And of course, guys, make sure you check out NordVPN, 30-day money-back guarantee. You can connect to all these countries listed over here on the left-hand side if you want to play in Mexico. I've been playing in some Canadian lobbies lately, and it is actually pretty crazy how easy the lobbies have been, and it might be something to do with just time zones and all that stuff, guys. So make sure you guys check out NordVPN. Of course, you can teleport, you know, all across the world if you want to connect to different countries and do whatever kind of things you guys want to do. So make sure you guys check out NordVPN. The link will be in the description below. 30-day money-back guarantee. It cannot be all right guys so today we're going to be talking about the taylor drift competitor 2.0 call of duty series script this is the latest by the taylor drift 21 team as you all know taylor drift 21 scripts have always slapped but if i'm being honest there hasn't been anything really crazy to come out from any of them in the past few months probably been six months or so before i've really came out or played with a script that they came out with that i was kind of blown away and say you know this script is actually pretty decent but we do kind of want to give this script a review try it out for yourself i'm going to share with you guys my best setting so far i haven't played with it but maybe for a little over a week now i think it's been out about 12 days now or so something like that not too long uh, a lot of people don't know about this script they wanted me to do a video on it so that's why i'm here doing this video today to share with you all the values that i'm using with this script and then what you can try out for yourself so the first thing you need to do is get this into zen studio so open up zen studio guys go under compiler now make sure in the latest version of zen studio if you're not using the latest 32-bit support beta version you're not going to be able to save any of these scripts and even with some of the older scripts guys you're gonna have to make sure that you use you know uncheck or check this sometimes if your scripts are not saving i know a lot of people have been messaging me telling me that their scripts are not saving so make sure you guys this is either checked depending on if it's a 16-bit script or unchecked if it's a 32-bit script which is the case with this script today it's a 32-bit script so we're going to uncheck use legacy 16-bit compiler under the device tab but a lot of these scripts are just for the latest version or firmware with your Corona Zen and the Zen Studio guys. So make sure you guys update that. We've done a video, you know, a lot of my videos in the past will teach you how to do that. Now, once you get everything updated, the firmware and the Zen Studio software, we're going to go ahead and open up that GPC file that you downloaded either from my Discord or Taylor Drift's Discord or wherever you want to find it. Go ahead and drag it right into this compiler folder. Bada bing, bada boom. It's all going to populate right here. Pretty simple. Not much more you need to do. After you're done with that, guys, all you're going to do is go over to Programmer, hit that fourth button on the left, and then drag and drop this to whatever slot you want, and then hit play. Now that it's going to be saved in slot two we hit the right button on the Cronus to switch to slot two and then it'll show the name of the script which I am going to rag on Taylor Drift and whoever named this script <laughs> guys can we at least learn how to spell Vanguard like go bro I'm just playing with you guys but hey let's fix that up let's fix it up now this is version 1.01 .01, so I don't know if they had it on the previous version spelled correctly but this is the game that you're actually you know Never mind. All right, we're not going to go into that. Anyway, guys, so I got it on slot two. Now, of course, once it's saved, and then, of course, like I said, you'll just hit the right button on the Zen to switch over to that Corona Zen pack, and then you're good to go, and you're good to play with this pack within Call of Duty. Now, the few things that I've changed so far, I'm going to give you a brief rundown, and then we'll get into some gameplay with this script. First thing that comes up, you know, you'll notice with this script when you actually pull it up, is the menus can be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to pull up my basic settings, and we'll probably do a more in-depth breakdown on the Patreon or something like that later. Uh, the menus are not the most simple, you know, compared to any of the older Taylor Drift scripts. When you first pull it up, guys, you're going to have to choose your anti-recoil type. But from there, you're not going to be able to change your actual recoil values. You have to actually go into a different setting. So 
Right now I'm using basic AR ADS plus fire and fire. So actually to change the values though, you'll have to actually go back out, go under aim assist and then scroll over to basic AR. And then when it says standard guys, you can go ahead and tap X and change that vertical. Now I'm using at a vertical around 28 right now and my horizontal is at a negative one. And then of course, advanced AR. If you wanna use that for your advanced anti-recoil guys, you could go ahead and try that out if you want to. I'm only using basic so far. So it's kind of confusing guys. The first thing, like I said, you're gonna notice is the anti-recoil is kind of under, for some reason, it's under aim assist. So when you go into aim assist, uh, you're gonna have basic AR profile one. You're gonna have to tap X and you're gonna have to go in and change your vertical. And then, you know, if you wanna use advanced AR, you can go over and change that as well. That is a confusing part about this script. For some reason, your anti-recoil is under your aim assist. And then actually to change your aim assist, you're gonna have to go under fire mods. And then you can turn on either Taylor AA or your bats AA. You know, just depend on whichever aim assist you want to use. I use Taylor AA and on. And then, of course, the only thing I'm really doing is turn that radius down to a 13, speed up to 16, leave that as it is. And then my bat sticky aim, I've actually turned that on as well. And then I've turned it down to an 18 for the strength. Time is actually going to be at default at 20. And then, of course, you just leave that and back that out and it'll save it. So those are the only settings I'm rolling with so far. Like I said, the only complaint I really have, the script is actually pretty sticky of itself. You can play around with some of these settings and stuff like that, guys. I just want to make sure you guys are aware of this script. Give it a try. It also works with multiplayer. And, of course, it's for all consoles and PC and all that good stuff. The only confusing part is the menu. So just kind of keep that in mind. For some reason, when you want to change your anti-recoil values, it's kind of under aim assist. And then the aim assist values are kind of under fire mods. So uh, just that's the only really complaint I have about this script. Other than that, it's a pretty good script. I want you to guys to try it out. So it'll be in my Discord under downloads. Uh, make sure you shout out to Taylor Drift, guys, if you want to donate to them, of course. Uh, I appreciate all of the support. Join the Patreon if you want to. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay from this script. Peace and love. We'll see you on the next one. Deuces. Yeah. Oh. 